Okay, my people, here we go real fast. Now, I, I, I posted part one. Now, now, here's part two. Here's part two of this. Now, the part two of this that I want you to pay attention to is this. Remember what I always say. Your, your genealogy is connected to your psychological state. Your psychological state is directly connected to your genealogy. Your genetics. Your genetics not only determine your phenotype, how you're going to look physically, the placement of eyes, your organs, your internal organs, hair, you know, reproduction. That's not, not it doesn't just determine that. It determines uh, your behavior, your mindset. Because, see, no one is teaching nature how to, no one is teaching an elephant how to be an elephant. But if an elephant needed to learn how to be a monkey, then someone would need to teach it that because it's not born to be a monkey. It's born to be an elephant. So that's so you can take that same analogy and you look at that with us. We're honeybees pretending to be flies. And the only way we can learn to be flies is that we have to be taught by someone to be a fly. So and, and because we're honeybees pretending to be flies, we are not reaching our full potential. We're not growing. So, but I want you to listen to what she has to say about the chimpanzees, their characteristics and their behavior, because this is where the manipulation coming at and then the violence coming at. And also the fact, why would she say that you humans share 98.7% of their genetic makeup with um, chimpanzees or monkeys for that matter? And if it's not tr true on a world stage, and why wouldn't no scientists or biologists or geneticists correct her with that? Anyway, I just want you to listen to this real fast. The psychological state. Listen to when she starts to break down how they interact with one another. Very violent. They even eat their own young. But listen. 1% of our DNA. Uh, but watching them, you know, two, uh, two chimpanzees greeting, they'll embrace and kiss and hold hands and pet one another. A chimpanzee who's frightened and needs reassurance will go up to a dominant one and probably be embraced or gently patted. The lovely relationship between mothers and their growing offspring that can last through a life of up to 60 years in the wild. Um, they use and make tools. That was the big observation that changed everything because it was thought humans and only humans used and made tools. So sadly, they can show brutality. They can kill, they have a kind of primitive war, but also like us, they can show love and compassion and true altruism. And so now, if you go back again, I'm going to rewind it. She said they have a somewhat of a primitive war. What is the kind of primitive war that they would be having amongst each other? So I'm going to play it again. Let's listen. So you're 90 this year? Yes, I'm 90. Just imagine 90 years on planet Earth, what changes I've seen. Let me take you back to the past and ask you, when you went to Gombe and you started to live with the chimpanzees, um, what, do you, what, what are the lessons you learned from, from that? What, if you were to summarize, what, that, that's such an unusual experience. None of us have had it. Give us a sense of what you learned. First of all, it was amazing and exciting because nobody had done it. I was the first one. And the first thing that emerged was, gosh, how like us they are. I mean, we didn't even know them that we share 98.7% of our DNA. Uh, but watching them, you know, two, uh, two chimpanzees greeting, they'll embrace and kiss and hold hands and pet one another. A chimpanzee who's frightened and needs reassurance will go up to a dominant one and probably be embraced or gently patted. The lovely relationship between mothers and their growing offspring that can last through a life of up to 60 years in the wild um, they use and make tools. That was the big observation that changed everything because it was thought humans and only humans used and made tools. So sadly, they can show brutality. They can kill. They have a kind of primitive war. But also like us, they can show love and compassion and true altruism. Right, and that's where the manipulation come in at. Oh, we, some of us are love and compassion. So we didn't all enslave you. And we have primitive wars, again, on the planet, who God is the best, uh, Jesus, Muhammad, Buddha, 
fighting over the natural resources on the planet. You know what I mean? This is my land. This is I, I was here first. How did you come here? All through all through lies, manipulation, and brute force. Once again, your genealogy is connected directly connected to your psychological state. Understand and overstand, my people, the nature of the people that you are dealing with and what is true evolution. This is not evolution at all. This was a species that was put together in a makeshift cult attack by an intelligent species on this planet that's not as intelligent as us, but as intelligent on this planet. And they use these speak these people as a smoke screen to do their bidding to get the resources off this planet as well as genetic material try to resorb the gen try to usurp the genetic material out of the so-called black woman and her children to try to surf and navigate the stars to try to get off of this planet and move throughout the cosmos but that was not that is not happening understand and overstand what's truly taking place abundance and gratitude to you all have an amazing day this is not pseudoscience this is science facts